Okay, uh, so we're going to go over this day of bolting here. This is uh, day in the power tunnel and then to the tail race. This is early in the project. Still using one boom. See, I just navigated there. Let's start drilling. Uh, first, oh. We'll cut there. We've got the first row drilled off. We'll partner go and install these mechanical bolts. And they're just mechanical anchors. He's got a airline up in the basket uh, there's a compressor on the jumbo so we don't have to hook up mine air and uh, it just runs a air impact there and tighten up the bolts you can see he's writing the the thickness of the shock sheet so he's going to measure the the, sh the thickness of the shock sheet on each hole before he installs the bolt and then uh, engineers can see how thick the shot creed is in centimeters and uh, if anything has to be redone or more shot creed added then it can be logged and taken care of at a later time so I'll zoom with the next row now I usually like to eyeball where I'm going to line up. As I said this is early in the project so I didn't have everything as perfected. So I like to stick my boom up in the air and I know that's as far out as I have to go and then I can navigate take an exact measurement of where the next row of bolts is supposed to be and uh, program the computer to that and then drill my row. So at first I like to start my well when I was first starting to drill on this project, I started with uh, my boom all the way out like that. And then uh, I knew I had the maximum amount of reach. And I could drill my rows and with the least amount of equipment movement. And uh, every time you move the piece of equipment, you have to re-navigate. And, you know, you, at best, it'd probably take you 5 to 15 minutes. You know, anywhere in that range, and if you're really crunching for time, it's it's uh it can be a make or break your day. <coughs> so you've seen some in some of my other videos. I drill with two booms and uh, with a short steel, and uh, as you can kind of notice in this video, having the booms at full length, full steel, uh, there's not enough room all the time, and. Uh, Having the shorter booms gives you a lot more versatility. You can see my partner there making up the bolts. So I see he's installed all those bolts now. We're going to pull out of this heading. And uh, at the time we were doing a remock, so we had to hang our cable up and over the remock so the Scoops and trucks could run while we were drilling and bolting. Just get my partner and take down our own our own power cable. We don't have to have a zoom boom or you know a scissor truck coming behind us. We just spool the cable out behind the piece of equipment, power down obviously, and take it down with our own basket. So a single piece of equipment can you know be a lot more versatile. So drive ahead. Spool all the cable out straight, and then it can be all coiled up nice and tight, and you know you don't have it dragging sloppy in the reel behind you running it over. <coughs> so we're gonna tram out of here. You can see uh, we've got the the push and pull ventilation. So we're gonna load up here with gear, load up with bolts for the next setting. Yeah, get a basket full of bolts there now and on our way to the next heading now you can see all the all the bolts there that are painted blue those are the ones that have been uh, grouted and are, are finalized yellow is still needs to be grouted and not complete and we're coming into a big tall heading here where we're benching oh, that was a tight corner Okay, so you can see here we're just uh, installing lower bolts, actually split sets, 
So the engineers will come in and paint dots where they want their ground support installed. And I just come in and drill holes on the dot. And then uh, my partner will go into the basket. And sometimes you can, you can put the split set right on to the boom. Or you can place it into the hole. And then uh, a different type of... Uh, hammer bit is installed on to the, the hammer part of the drill and it just inserts into the, the split set and it's a friction bolt so you just kind of hammer it in and the hole will be slightly smaller than what the split set is and just the force of driving it in will, will create this friction bolt where uh, it's meant for the ground to be either moving or softer where you, you can't uh, put in a solid anchor or something that's expendable and you you don't want to destroy the outside anchor they're they're flush to the wall uh, they're fun to put in you can just come in and just pound in holes and hammer them in so you can see uh, any cost here to keep the drill moving I'm upside down or whatever way I can to I have both booms ready to go. Always keeping the booms of you know away from each other, or one step ahead of each other, so you're always ready for the next mechanical movement. Oh, actually, it looks like these are mechanical bolts. So I was wrong about all those split sets. That was another place, another time. Still just spot bolting, just spot bolting mechanical bolts rather than a computerized program that I have to load and follow. And that's it.